The first okay. thing was get yourself manicured and then I was mm. like looking at my nails and tail. They were very specific. Somebody who works in the medical sector, who's a doctor or something, has a certain amount of income. Word on the street, matchmaking is old-fashioned, completely outdated, and it's responsible for countless loveless marriages in the past. Definitely not meant for people in the 21st century. Having said that, matchmaking companies continue to thrive in Singapore. Why is that? I think as society slowly starts to progress towards people slightly being a bit more individualistic, people are very financially independent these days, matchmaking becomes something that's a really a personal choice and a personal decision. So what are your concerns and reservations before you put yourself through matchmaking? I mean, if it works out, then it works out. If it doesn't, then yeah. And I think it's just another avenue to meet people. I've tried other experiences like dating online and speed dating. I think those are more actually more daunting than matchmaking because it's one-to-one. -one. I wasn't really banking on thinking that it's going to happen first time you try a matchmaking session. How is the whole process like? They send you a form to fill up with a lot of questions about what you're looking for, what type of person you are, what are the dislikes or likes that you want in a person. And then that's followed up by a meet-up with the agency consultants. For some candidates, they were very specific, like probably somebody who uh, works in the medical sector, who's a doctor or something, has a certain amount of income. They try to find match you up with somebody who is more or less of the same personality. I was more basic, I guess, in my requirements. That makes it harder because the agency itself has a limited pool of candidates as well, so it, it makes the pool smaller. No? Some companies boast of using mathematical algorithms to find your match. Others emphasize on the fact that they will personally look through profiles to find you a suitable match. Either way, you have to wait. So how long do you have to wait before they got you a match? I think about a week. Actually, I was quite surprised because when I filled up a form diligently the day before and then when I met them up, they already have a match for me. So, before you guys met, do you get to see how he looks like? No, but uh, I have to say, I'm very good at Googling. Did you pick a background chat on him on, on Google? Kind of. His name is quite common. Oh, okay. So it's quite difficult. I guess it's hard to stop ourselves from secretly Googling our secret date. But according to an article I came across, checking out someone's Facebook or Twitter might reveal too much about a person's casual side. One piece of advice is to check out your date on LinkedIn instead to get a general idea of who he or she is. The rest you can find out during the date. Tell me more about the, the first date. We just had coffee. How much thought do you put into uh, your physical appearance? The agency does uh, send us some tips to follow what to wear, what not to oh, wear, is it? Okay, what to say, nice. what not to say. They give you like a uh, guideline so that you wouldn't embarrass, embarrass yourself. The first okay. thing was okay. uh, get yourself manicured and then I was like looking at my nails and tail. I was more conscious of not putting too much makeup because I like to be myself so I want to portray that so that they know who I am straight off. Do you think you put an effort into looking good? No, I think Man generally don't know. Beating the guy itself, how do you feel? I think he was a bit different from what I imagined. Good different. In his profile, he was supposed to be very tall. He was okay, he was nice. Okay. The conversation was engaging. Was he your type? There was definitely a lot of common interests. Uh, no. Personality-wise, I think our preferences and tastes are different. I got a text from the guy, but it turned out I wasn't the, the intended <gasps> recipient of the message. So I think I discounted the points already. <laughs> So I guess you probably won't meet your Prince Charming on the first match. The process might be tedious and it might take a lot of tries before someone you like comes along. So is it really worth your time? I will definitely recommend to my friends. Sometimes it might work for some other people, sometimes it doesn't. So we should try it yeah, and see how it's like. Do you think people have a stereotype of those who go out out of the way and spend money and trust another thing to find their love? Like, I think most of the stigma is more personal. Mm. I've told my colleagues friends uh, very openly when I say I just went for matchmaking or went for speed dating. I always see the difference between men and women. How women react will be, oh how was it? Mm. And the men will go like, well, what were you thinking? That their impression of joining all these events means you're desperate. It's something that needs to be worked on. If you have something to say to all these people, what would it be? Would you rather be single all your life and never tried it mm. or take the chance? So what do you think? What other ways do you use to look for love? Let us know, tweet and hashtag LonelyInSG.